With the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel, it was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. Zerline's got it teed up, and off we go from Arlington. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Arizona Cardinals offense coming out here for the first time, and you get a peek at Kyler Murray, the dangerous offensive weapon now in his third season in the National Football League. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. First carry for James Conner. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Murray flips his forward on a jet sweep. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end arounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it. If you're a quarterback, it's an easy completion. If you're a wide receiver, you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet. On first and 10 is Connor. Shifts past him at the 45. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Running right on the option is Murray. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Here's Murray from midfield. And that will be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. C.D. Lamb deep for the Cowboys. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Here comes this Dallas offense led by Dak Prescott in his sixth season now as the Cowboy quarterback. So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. Thank <laughs> you. 
On first and ten, Prescott. Open man, right side, it's Lamb. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Working with second and five now. Elliott running right. No, oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. And that one quickly went from a big play for the offense, I thought he may go the distance, to a big play for the defense. And how about the emotions for the defense on that play? It broke big. It's going to be an absolute disaster for them. And it turns out they end up with the football. I don't know that they're exactly celebrating. Definitely plenty of relief, though. recovery it's Murray this will be caught inside the 10 and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8 to win any route you've got to break down the defender and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route here we go now on first and goal Here's Murray. Oh, what a move. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run it. This is Connor. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. They'll look to run with Connor. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner taking it in from two yards out. And the Cardinals have taken the early lead. Well, they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. A drive there of just four plays. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark.
And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. They'll start the drive with Elliott, and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Now Prescott. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So here's a first and ten at the thirty eight. Prescott to throw it. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Prescott looks to throw on first. And he finds his target, it's Schultz. good on second down but now they're backed up five yards by the false start and it's second and eight after the penalty it's Elliott give him three yards and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 24-yard line. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. A first down throw for Prescott. Again, it's Cooper as he makes the catch. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's funny when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper and we mentioned, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically <laughs> what he said, right? I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. And here he'll 
will get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. On any running play that's calm, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That time, a nine-play drive, and it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Turn, Rondale Moore will bring it out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. First half, all knotted up at seven. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando through and he's got space and he's going to be out of bounds but not before he takes it inside the 40. Well that was man coverage so once he decides to run with the football there's no one to account for him and he turns it into a nice game. First down is Murray. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Second and five. At the Cowboys 
Murray going to throw. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 19. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Wide open, receiver complete. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run here with Connor. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. at the two now. Here's second and goal. An option handoff given to Connor. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. And just nowhere to go for Connor. Defense gets to him and they mark him short. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. And now out is the Cardinal field goal team here. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This is Tony Pollard. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we've reached halftime here on New Year's Eve. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The 
It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. Now Pollard. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That one complete, Elliott. Oh, an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing. And they got it out to him on the left side. And he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Prescott from the gun. Over the middle complete. It's Schultz. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Give to Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. And down to the 28-yard line. 45 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. That's Gallup on the slant. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. A first down carry by Elliott. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Prescott now. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. The catch and the touchdown, they were the end result of a terrific route run by the receiver. at 14-10. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown.
after the touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this fielded right at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Throwing now is Murray. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by DeMonte Kazin. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Well, that was one I kind of saw coming, Charge. He had a free safety just hanging back there over the middle, waiting. And he saw that ball go in the air, and he jumped on it. And I don't know why the quarterback didn't see that. That was just your standard cover three, which means the free safety in the middle of the field, the two corners, and they divide the field in thirds. But when you have a free safety with range, like a good center fielder, he can go from side to side and make plays on the football as he did there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Tenth carry now for Allian. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. First down, Prescott. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. Well, that play really didn't fool them. They completed the screen pass, but for lost yardage, a really nice play by the defense. The cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Looking to throw. Prescott. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. It'll go as a sack, a loss of three, and in turn, it takes us to a fourth down. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sack. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so, oh. I, could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. So now Dak Prescott off, Greg Zerline on for the field goal. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. And Zerline's kick is good. And that moves. 
opens him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. For the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. And no run back here for Moore. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. <laughs> Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Here's Murray. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They always say the real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. The Cardinals on third down, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. From the gun, Murray. And a throw there going to be incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Lamb to return it. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Prescott on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 
right, I don't want to get too poetic here where you talk about, you know, the eyes being the windows of the soul. You know what else the eyes do? They see the open spaces on a field, and those eyes carry your legs to those spots, and that's what happened on that play. He saw a spot, an opening and went and got it. Well, he really hasn't ran the ball all game. Fourth quarter here, need a big play, able to pick it up. So whatever the eyes saw and created, it worked. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott, and the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 11. Now Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. And he slides to avoid the hit. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. On third down, it's Prescott. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Zeke going to get it on the option, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Zerline now for the PAT. And the lead is up to 14. So that drive spanned five plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. More now to return. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Well, the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? 
You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. He'll get this to Connor underneath. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that'll make it second and 10. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical. And you figure may only get one more shot after this. So a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You have the first one for the second one to even matter. To throw again on second down. Murray, the catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. If he's their best threat on offense, use your number one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Murray now. His throw incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Murray to air it out again. Benjamin's got it. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Ertz over the middle. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Cardinals got to go quickly, hustling to the line. Now Murray's got to have this one. He finds Hopkins complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted. And they did. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Murray, he's used to moving fast at Oklahoma. He'll get his guys up to the line. From the 25 on second down, Murray, and his throw is incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. To throw is Murray. And able to find Kirk complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. 
to Connor on the check down. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Second down and eight. Now Murray again, and he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Caught on the slant. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. 